let's all get cs 2004 question based on cache memory consider a small two way set associative cache memory consisting of four blocks in the cache memory we have total four lines we have but it is a two way set associative cache memory so in every set there are two lines for choosing the block to be replaced use the list recently used lru scheme okay so we will replace if we need to replace a block then we will replace that block which is list recently used the number of cache misses for the following sequence of block addresses remember these are the block addresses this this is the block reference string and for this block reference string we need to find the number of cache misses okay so first of all the given cache memory that is a two way set associative cache memory with four lines so let me draw the cache memory first this is the cache memory and this is a two way set associative cache and remember total how many lines we have total four lines are there the question is saying that we have four cache lines four cache blocks but in every set there are two lines so total how many set will be there in every set we have two lines and total we have four lines so total there will be two set okay set 0 set 1 there will be two set in every set there will be two lines because this is a two way set associative cache okay so this is the organization this is the picture of cache memory very simple now this block reference string is given to us okay so let's see this block reference string block reference sequence that is 8 12 0 12 okay now let's see how many cache misses will be there first of all you notice this is a set associative cache in a set associative cache memory any memory block will map to a unique set yes or no okay this is the definition of set associative cache memory that in a set associative cache memory any memory block will map to a unique set and if the block number is given to us in the decimal here you can see the block numbers are given to us in the decimal if i want to find to which set a block will map to then we can easily find the set number so remember if you want to find the set number the set number to which a particular memory block will map to so what you can do this set number you can find like this you can take the block number mod means you can find the remainder when you divide by number of set number of set here you can see the number of set is basically 2 so when you divide by 2 so here you, in this in this question i can say that to find the set number you can just divide the block number by 2 and you can find the remainder this mod will give you the remainder okay now remember one thing because here we have only two set only two set are there so we are dividing by number of set that is 2 so basically here we just need to check odd or even yes or no all the odd number blocks will go to set 1 and all the even number blocks will go to set 0 yes or no is this clear so please understand because here you only have two set so the calculation is actually very easy you know that all even numbered blocks if a block if a block number is even for example here all the block numbers are even so actually all these blocks will map to set 0 none of them will map to set 1 i can say for these blocks we can never use the this set we can never use these two lines for all these blocks we need to use these two lines or i can say the set number 0 okay so you can see all the even numbered blocks they will map to set 0 and all odd numbered blocks will map to set 1 okay all odd numbered blocks will map to set 1 okay very simple is this clear and here interesting thing in this question that this block reference string that is given to us here you have all the even numbered blocks uh, yes or no here all are even even numbered blocks and because all are even numbered blocks so remember all of them will map to set number 0 simple point okay so let me tell you that all of them they actually will map to set number 0 they map to set 0 okay so all of them actually will map to here so now let's see when this memory block 8 when we access this block number 8 then it will we will fetch it to the cache memory 
okay in the cache memory remember this 8 will map to set number 0 so we can put this block number 8 here so of course this is a miss okay this block number 8 this is a miss this is a compulsory miss because this is the first reference to block number 8 so remember this miss this is actually a compulsory miss what is a compulsory miss the first reference the first access the very first reference to any block that is called compulsory miss so you can say this is a compulsory miss what about this 12 this will also map to set number 0 okay already we have a space here so this 12 i can put here so this is also a miss and remember this is also a compulsory miss because this is the first reference this is the very first access to block number 12 so this is also a compulsory miss okay next you can see this block number 0 this will also map to set number 0 okay so again there will be a miss what is the reason because this block number 0 is not present in the cache memory so there will be a miss here okay there will be a miss because it is not present in the cache memory but tell me what type of miss it will be what is the name of the miss is it compulsory miss is it capacity miss is it conflict miss tell me what type of miss is it is it is again compulsory miss okay what is the reason because this is the first reference to the block number 0 so what type of miss this will be this will be a compulsory miss let me tell you this will not be a capacity miss this will not be a conflict miss what is the reason because even if you have infinite size cache then also this miss will be there because this is the first reference to block number 0 okay and remember even if you have fully associative cache then also this miss will be there do you agree with me this miss will definitely be there even if you have fully associative cache then also this miss will be there if you have infinite size cache then also this miss will be there because this is the first reference to block number 0 so remember this is a compulsory miss okay very simple again i am telling you one very important thing that the first reference to any block is always called compulsory miss it is not called capacity miss it is not called conflict miss the first reference to any memory block is only called compulsory miss is this clear very simple now let's see this this but remember when this block number 0 we are accessing then this will map to set number 0 so one of these 8 comma 12 one of these i need to replace so which should i replace that is very simple you are standing here we are using the lru policy the question is saying you need to use lru replacement policy so you are standing here now who is least recently used you can see this 12 is recently used so this 8 is least recently used so this 8 i will replace with 0 very simple now next 12 you can see 12 is a hit because 12 is already in the cache memory you can see so remember this 12 this is a hit okay and finally what about this 8 yes this will be miss because it is not present in the cache memory so this will be a miss so yes this is a miss tell me what type of miss is this this 8 this is a miss but what type of miss is this is this a compulsory miss no this is not a compulsory miss because this is not the first reference to block number 8 yes or no so this is not a compulsory miss what type of miss is this is this because of capacity no capacity is already enough so this is actually conflict miss okay what is the reason this is conflict miss the reason is very simple because there are space available in the cache memory there are many empty lines available but still you can see many these blocks these blocks are mapping to this particular slot to this particular set that is the reason this miss is occurring okay yes or no if you increase the associativity for example if you make it fully associative cache then you can easily see that this miss will not occur yes or no if you make it fully associative cache then this miss will not happen so if you increase the associativity then this miss will not happen that is the reason this is conflict miss okay is this clear very simple so you can see this 8 this will be a miss and what should i replace you are standing here so who is least recently used either 0 comma 12 which of them is least recently used you can see 12 is recently used so 0 is least recently used so finally i will replace this i will replace this 0 with 8 okay so this is the final situation that in the after the at the end of this block reference sequence you can see in the cache memory you will have block number 8 and block number 12 very simple so total how many miss are there you can see total we have four miss 
Okay, so the number of miss for this question that will be four. The question is asking the number of cash misses, so that will be four. Okay, very simple. And if they ask you how many conflict miss, how many compulsory miss, so that also you can easily find what are the number of conflict miss. Only one conflict miss, and and you can see the remaining, the remaining are basically compulsory miss. Okay, so you can easily notice that here. This actually will be compulsory miss. This tall, this is also compulsory miss, and this zero is also compulsory miss. The reason is very simple because these are the first reference to these blocks. So this is also compulsory miss. These two, okay, and you can see this is actually hit, and this eight, this is actually a conflict miss. Very simple. 